hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be discussing a few methods by which we can determine the age of a person by using his or her teeth so let's get started dental age assessment is one of the most reliable methods of chronological age estimation used for criminal forensic and anthropologic purposes teeth are known to aid in personal identification and age determination as they are highly durable to resist the effect of putrefaction by chemical and other environmental factors so teeth can help us know the age of a person even after death why because teeth are highly mineralized and because of that reason they are durable and they resist putrefaction process putrefaction while other organs start to get putrefied by chemical and, and other other environmental factors our teeth are going to they are going to resist putrefaction and hence they are going to stay the same administration of justice often requires estimation of age of an individual in litigations involving both civil and criminal cases such as issues related to consent employment retirement marriage case of sexual offense kidnapping abduction criminal responsibility juvenility etc so our uh, teeth have been useful in uh, estimating the age of a person in number of cases like these it is a very reliable method to determine the chronological age of a person and for that we need great deal of visual examination along with subject expertise so we need to be very much thorough with the knowledge uh, other than the knowledge we also need great deal of visual examination the forensic odontologist must thoroughly study each and every aspect of that particular teeth in order to determine the age of the person and hence visual examination is very important step in this now there are different methods for determining the age so um dental age estimation in child and in adolescent there are three methods that is atlas method which is a radiographic method then there is shor and masler method and then there is demerjan method then for determining it in adults we have gustafson radiological method and there are some other methods like visual method amino acid prismatization also so in this video i'm going to be discussing about these three methods that is the methods that are used for um, age estimation in children and uh, all the other methods will be discussed in my next video so let's start with the atlas approach radiographs in this method radiographs are used to morphologically assess the distinct stages of mineralization of tooth a radiograph is basically um, a static image that is generated when x-rays are passed through the patient's teeth in case teeth so x-rays are used in this method and radiographs are made this is a radiograph this picture is a radiograph of teeth and with the help of these the odontologists are going to study the various stages there are various stages of mineralization of teeth so which stage the person's teeth were in we can determine that and on the basis of that age of the person can be estimated the tooth mineralization uh, stages are much less affected by variation in nutritional and endocrine status unlike bones hence provide a more accurate indication of chronological chronological age so in bone in cases of bone bones are also mineralized teeth are also mineralized but the bones um, mineralization stages can be affected by the nutritional um, habits of the person or the endocrine status and hence it can um, you know uh, we cannot determine the age through that but this is not so in teeth case teeth mineralization is not affected by this uh, by nutrition or by endocrine status hence it is more reliable the advantages of atlas method is dental radiographs are non destructible of course these radiographs cannot be destructed also the x rays don't affect the teeth in any way so dental radiographs can be used readily and reliably dental radiographs are of enormous value to determine the age when only skull is found and other body parts or long bones are not available for the purpose of estimation so when only skull is found then dental radiographs become even more important 
बिकॉज वी डोंट हैव एनी अदर पार्ट दैट वी कैन लुक फॉर एज एस्टिमेशन सो इन केस ऑफ वेन ओनली स्कल इज प्रेजेंट अवेलेबल देन दिस बिकम्स इवन मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट then the second method is shore and masler's method so shore and masler basically uh, describe 20 different chronological stages of dental development starting from 4 month age after birth to 21 years of age here is a picture that is showing all those 20 stages the individual dental status was compared with this table to estimate age so here in this picture you can see um, basically um blue colored they are um, showing as the deciduous dentition of the primary teeth whereas this yellowish part is showing as the permanent teeth right first we have deciduous teeth then we have mixed dentition that is a mix of deciduous and permanent teeth then comes the finally permanent teeth so in different stages some of the teeth are erupting some are still inside the jaw like this is inside the jaw these are erupting so there are various stages and if we have a set of teeth who's and uh, we need to estimate uh, the person's age then what we can do is we can study those teeth we can see how many have erupted how many are still inside and uh, on the basis of that we can you know we have the estimated age written over here in this chart so the individual dental status can be compared with this table to estimate the age then we have the measurements technique the development of each permanent mandibular tooth except for the third molar was rated on eight stages from a to h so basically they mr jan he rated the teeth on eight scale that started from a to h a b c d e f g and h each letter corresponds to a score the sum score of all the seven teeth represents the dental maturity score and these scales means different stages like for example a here means mineralized cusp tips not yet coalesced b means mineral cusp united c means the crown is approximately half formed d means crown formation is complete to dento enamel junction e means root formation has become f means root length at least as great as crown length g means parallel root walls with open apices h means apices are completely closed so these are various stages that are given so we have this then um we have the teeth that we have to estimate the age of we are going to sum the scores of all the seven teeth and then we are going to get a dental maturity score the dental maturity score can be converted directly into dental age by using a graph or a table of standards so i hope you understood these three techniques atlas approach used radiographs and then the mineralization stages were studied in shore and masler there were 20 chronological stages that were representing the teeth development which can be used to compare the individual dental status of a person then demirjan's technique rated different teeth from a to h and then those scores were summed and the dental maturity score was converted then into dental age so this was all about this video thank you for watching